This video demonstrates how to create and then zip up a OneNote notebook using locally installed Microsoft Office 2013 software. We go to my program menu, all programs, Microsoft Office 2013, and select OneNote. OneNote opens up. I'm going to go up here and click on File. I'm going to click New. I'm going to go to a location on my computer. I'm going to give this notebook a name. I believe in the homework assignment I said for it to be schoolwork. I'm going to create the notebook. Now I've got one new section that's open right now. I'm going to change the name of that section by right clicking, clicking rename. I'm going to name it BCIS. Okay, I'm going to hit enter, and that's going to go down and put the cursor on the first page in the notebook. On this one, I'm going to type computer concepts. Hit enter. Okay, I'm going to put some content on here. This page is reserved for computer concepts. Okay, now I'm going to create a second page in this notebook by clicking Add Page. All right, this is a second page in the BCIS section. So I'm going to put Microsoft Office here. Hit Enter. And then I'm going to give the page and some content. Okay, I've got content on both of these pages now, but it's just type content. I'm going to go back to the first page, Computer Concepts, and I'm going to click somewhere in the page where it's not inside the content that I've put here. So I've clicked it here on the page. I'm going to click Insert, and I'm going to look for online pictures. Okay, I'm going to go for Office Clip Art, and I'm going to type computer in here. All of these computer pictures come back. So I'm just going to select one and click Insert. Now I have put content on that page. I'm going to go to the Microsoft Office page, and I'll do something similar. Insert. And I'm going to put online pictures again, because this is the easiest thing to do. And let's uh, type in, let's see, office software. Let's see what we get. Okay, so I'm going to insert that. Now I've created two pages with content, but I've only got one section. Okay, I'm going to put a second section in here by clicking on this little plus button. I'm going to call this section English. Excuse me, I put that in the wrong place. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go back up here, right-click, rename, and now type English. For the first page in here, I'm going to put literature. Okay, and then for content on it, I'm going to do the insert thing again. Online pictures. I'm going to just type literature in here and see what we get. We get all kinds of pictures of books. And there's one I believe that might have Shakespeare in it, so I'm going to insert that. All right, I'm going to add a page to this, so I will have my two pages like the assignment calls for. And this time, I'm going to name the page Research Paper. And I'm going to add some content again. I'll type research paper and we'll see what we get on that. Oh, no results for that. So let's just change it where it's just research. Okay, we get all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to select that and insert it. Now, I've just created two sections, each with two pages of content. Your assignment was to do three sections with two pages of content. 
So you're on your own for doing that third one. You can add any kind of content you want. And if you use the instructions that are in the textbook, you can also see how to insert web pages or clip information from a web page and insert it. The caveat that I will give you is that if you're doing that, you need to be using Internet Explorer instead of Firefox. Now, this is being saved continuously. This isn't a kind of a program where we have to click save every time we make a change to the file. It's automatically saved. And in fact, it's not really a, fold, a file, it's a folder of files. So I'm going to show you how to find this and zip it up when you turn it in. I'm going to close OneNote. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to click on the folder for Windows Explorer. I'm going to go to Documents. I'm going to go to OneNote Notebooks. There is my schoolwork notebook. Okay, I can't submit it like this because it's a folder, but I'm going to zip it to where it's a file. I right click on it. I come down and click Send To. I click Compressed. Okay, now this is what I turn into Blackboard. So I would open up Blackboard, go to the assignment link, click on it, and then where it says Browse for File, I would browse and I would go to this folder and then click on that zip file, select it, and upload it. So this is what your assignment should have consisted of. Please go back and read the assignment instructions and then create your file and resubmit it. Create your folder, zip it to a file, and resubmit it.